How are y'all doing today? Today I'm going to be talking about the uh, hitch that I purchased for my short bed truck. I have a 2010 Suzuki Equator. It's just the same as a Nissan Frontier. Basically the same truck just with the Suzuki uh, badges on it. And I purchased my trailer hitch from eTrailer.com. Um, really easy to install. I'll be going over uh, the installation. All right, so first let's open up this box. Let's see what's included in this box. Be careful of these staples when you open this box. I'm gonna give y'all a top view of how this looks. So here's the view inside the box. how it is packaged. This is taped on. I'm looking for the bolts and the instructions. Installation instructions and hardware located here. So Let's cut that open. So there's our hardware. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, six, six bolts, and some washers. This is the paper I got. Model 13241, RRH 13241, Nissan Frontier, Suzuki Equator. Okay, look how easy this install is. Now under here in the frame rail, it has existing weld nuts already in the frame. So all you have to do is lift this up. You have your, your bolts and your washers. And you just lift it up, line it up, and may take you like 15 minutes to install this. There's no drilling required at all. So you just raise the hitch into the position, secure the M12 bolts with the washers into the weld nuts, and then torque the fasteners to 86 foot pounds. Check this out. There's no drilling. And they're ready for the bolts, the M12 bolts. All right, so I got my jack and I'm gonna just back it up, put the tow hitch on there and then raise it up. I have a socket, three quarter inch socket that you're gonna need in order to tighten those bolts. Lift the trailer up, bolt to the, to the jack here. Get it seated real good. See, I'm lifting it up slowly. I'm lining those holes up. And as soon as I get to where I need it, I'm going to use the jack to keep it in place. Just like that. I'm gonna line those holes up. You see these holes are lined up. I'm going to move this over a little bit. Get those holes lined up like that as you can see it's sitting you can see the way it's sitting on my jack just like that and that's just me holding it in place so now let's get the first one let's get the first one in there Always wear your eye protection when you're doing stuff like this. Dirt and stuff fall down in your eyes. There we go. All right, so I went and got a a three-quarter inch wrench just cause uh, I don't have any swivels to get up in there. So 
on this side you'll probably need to to use your wrench here just so it's in there I'm not gonna tighten it down all the way yet because I'm going to put the other bolts on the other side first see if I'm lined up all right so back on the other side just want to make sure that before I tighten anything down all the way that we stay centered and all these are going to be lined up last one going on this side remember when you tighten these down if you have a torque wrench it's going to go to 86 foot pounds of torque Lower my jack down. So, hope this helped y'all out. See how easy it is to install one of these hitches. And check out the website, etrailer.com. Definitely got some good deals there.